Hello everyone, I'm Tom from the Reluctant Outdoorsman channel. You're now watching part 3 of a video which follows a walk Paddy the Cockapoo and I made in Jersey Channel Islands on the 1st of December 2023. This walk started outside the Norfolk Lodge Hotel in Rouge Bouillon, St. Helier. We walked along the outskirts of town, eventually heading up Trinity Hill. Part 2 of the video saw us discover the site where the old Raleigh Hotel used to stand. And from there we drop down into Valley de Vaux, which is where today's video starts. We exit the valley by heading up Rue des Coty. Cross La Grande Rue de Saint Jean. and move along La Grande Route de Montalabé. Finishing just past Haute Valley School. Yeah, really nice. How do you like Paddy's haircut? <laughs> he looks completely different. Don't you Paddy? You look completely different. And he didn't have a massive one. We left him a, a little bit long. Well, thank you for watching part three. Uh, Paddy and I have been walking for nearly 40 minutes already. It's the first decent day weather-wise in ages. And we've just walked through an area I've never been to before, which was really beautiful. Right. We're now entering Valley de Vaux, yeah, and I'm go. very familiar with all of this part of the walk. This way. Oh yeah, that's the old harvest barn. For those of you who remember drinking in the harvest barn, that's it. That closed down many, many years ago. Big old tree, isn't it? Big old tree. Three down. Now, I think not far up here, there's a lovely hill that goes up to the left. Oh, there it is. Oh, Paddy. Paddy's now soaking wet. You can tell we've had a lot of rain, there's just water seeping out of everywhere. Right. And it's 
just blowing here. First girlfriends used to live up here, and uh, I remember coming up here to pick her up and take her out places. And uh, shows how attitudes have changed. I remember her mother used to make the strongest gin and tonics I've ever drunk. So, uh, obviously I was driving, so <laughs> yeah, I could only have a few sips. climbing out of the valley now and it doesn't feel quite so damp but you could see just how wet it gets down at the bottom there so well, there you go I presume Storm Kieran knocked the pillar down I What's going to happen here is we're going to sweep round to the right and join up with the Grand Route de Saint Jean. Which is not a million miles away from my house. It's a very lovely peaceful day. Long may it continue. So much of the world in turmoil. I think that looked like the Grand Route de Saint-Jean, but it is. Very pleasant. Now, it's not a nice road to walk down. So, I'll either try and cross straight off it, or I may end, end the video, we'll see. Depends how much traffic there is going up and down it. The old farm. farm building, it's massive.
Lovely Jersey cows. Oh, Paddy's going to have a look. What are you doing, that Paddy? Nice green fields. Hello. Quite a few of them are lying down. I think that means it's going to rain. Paddy Car, you try and get as dirty as possible for before we get home. Yes, I think you are. Hey. Another rural street, which will take us all the way back to near where I live. Heading into the sun, so we'll get some glare, but that's what happens. So it's the 1st of December and this is where I normally start my annual panic of what I'm meant to do about Christmas presents. Uh, normally only by my wife. My wife sorts everything else out. But my wife and I normally have an agreement that we're not going to by each other presents. Uh, so I sort of uh, think, oh, I better do because I know what she's like. And then a couple of days before Christmas, I find out that my wife has got stuff for me. I haven't got anything and I go into a total panic. And added to that is the uh, the fact that we've got a secret Santa going with my wife, our daughter Libby, and Callum and Jess, and Della, who's coming over from England for Christmas. 
my wife's sister and uh, it shouldn't be difficult we've just got to buy a 50 pound secret center but I haven't got a clue I Hi, isn't that lovely? Beautiful. <laughs> so, I haven't got a clue what to buy for the Secret Santa. I obviously can't tell you who I've got to buy for. But, uh, I don't know, I can't make up my mind. Some people say I'm indecisive, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I suppose it'll all turn out as it normally does. <laughs> Me making all sorts of errors at Christmas time. Oh well. Right, so this road runs along and travels behind B and Q. For those of you who remember B and Q up the St John's end of La Grande Route de Saint Jean, that closed down many years ago and moved nearer to the top of Queen's Road. And we're sort of approaching the back of it now. And I have to say, I've actually got a sweat on. On December the 1st, I'm not wearing that much clothing. But I'm getting straight in the shower when I get back. another green road with a 15 mile an hour speed limit so that is a country hotel oh, what's the name of it I think there's a sign on the corner I do know it but I've forgotten it Hill Country Hotel? No, it doesn't sound right. This is La Grande Route de Montalave, West Hill Country Hotel. Wow. Also, I don't know if anybody saw. Uh, oh no, it's coming on this weekend. Oh, I better not say anything about that. My memory is very bizarre. I. Uh, I can't remember people's names who I met yesterday, but I read a fairly obscure book at school, mentioned it on a recent walk, and thought, oh, who was that by? And I took a guess, and lo and behold, I checked it, it was correct. So how I've remembered that name for 
50 years and yet if I meet you in the street and you say hello my name's Joe I'll say hello my name's Tom totally forgotten what your name is I think somebody said it's a bit like a computer you keep storing memories and names and information and then your hard drive gets full I think my hard drive is full but if you ask my wife she'll say I can perfectly remember things I want to remember and I forget everything else so I don't know she might be right she normally is Paddy what are you doing? This has been nice. I'm just going to walk through the little alley here and I'll shut off this video. So I hope you've enjoyed our little walk. Sean, I hope you recognise the area where the Rally Hotel used to be. I want to thank everybody for watching. You're all very kind. Thank you so much to those people who have subscribed. And if you do enjoy the videos and you haven't already done so, I'd be really grateful if you did subscribe. It's free and it sort of helps out, we believe, with the YouTube algorithm to recommend it to more people, my channel. And also, you'll be when you switch on YouTube, if I've released a new video, it should appear somewhere near the top. So, that's it for now. Hopefully, I'll see you all again soon.